Hey, it's Abco Kid here again. Um, now I've got my Recar. Um, what do they call it? Super right? Uh, the Sand Trap model. And there's the owner's manual. And I've had this about like, oh, two, three months now, something like that. Um, I went online to Recar. I periodically go on there and Simplicity's websites and a bunch of other back sites just to see and noticed that this wasn't available anymore so I was like what the heck so then I like kind of forgot about it and then I called Tacconi and um asked them I'm like what's going on and the one lady said oh it's probably off the website because there's a part on back order and they take the machine completely off the website and I'm thinking well what could be different from this model compared to the other ones um, that are like this, the other top of the line model. And so I wasn't convinced and then I talked to um, Tom Gasco, the museum director, and he said yeah, they had stopped making them, which is what I thought, and it had only been like a month, so I kind of panicked. I've always, I should have just gotten one before. So what I ended up doing, and what he suggested too, and I was going to do anyways, was calling a bunch of dealers that sell Ricar, because my local ones don't, um, my local Ricard dealer isn't the greatest, um, so he usually never has any machines in stock. Um, so I called a bunch, and I found a place in Texas that had like eight of them. And I told the guy, I'm like, when you ship it, I want it the original box put inside another box to protect it um, because I like to keep my original boxes um, in case I ever decide to sell it. I think it's worth a little bit more and whatever. And it came in uh, another super light box because I'm pretty sure the one it came in was not the original box. And they went ahead and filled out their information in the little sticker and they wrote on the bottom of it too they put these little marker these marks there so I'm kind of pissed about that um, so I mean I've gotten over it. It's not, I guess it's really not the end of the world, but for me, it's just like I wanted it brand new in the box, just put inside another box, and the fact that it was taken out, written on, and all this other shit just really irritates me because you didn't follow my directions. And when I'm spending a shit ton of money on something that's not even in production anymore, I was a little bit uh, annoyed. And I never even, I just didn't even call them back, but if you know what, it's fine, I've gotten over it. Um, but I mean, I really wanted this model because green is my favorite color, and I'm also a golfer. So having the Sand Trap logo right there is pretty cool with the golf flag. Um, so, in Simplicity's version, I just, like, you know, I prefer the green. Like, I really do like this green, actually. It's a nice green. It's not like some neon or that like, pastel -y green that they have in their other ones. In the Simplicity version, I just don't like the look of it. Like, I go back and forth with the car. Like, I like some Ricard's, like, designs better than Simplicity's and vice versa. So, this one I prefer, the Ricard design. Um, so, bottom line, I was able to get one. Um, like I said, had a little issue there because no one fought this into my instructions but uh, nonetheless it's a good machine this is if you don't know this is the top of the line well it's no different than the other top of the line one with the metal brush roller and the sensor that shuts it off really stiff bristles um, and I've said this before I think in my um, other super light video the RSL5 that the brush, it's like an old Hoover Dialmatic. It pushes everything this way, and the inlet is right here. So, I mean, it still does a really good job deep cleaning. Um, like, the fine stuff 
I mean, I, maybe I'll do a video. It just brings stuff in, like pine needles and like even dirt if it's far away. It just brings it right to the nozzle before you even get there and sucks it up. You don't, and if you go back, if it's like sand or something, you look in the carpet, it hasn't pushed it down in there. But for other things, this feature with the brush going like that, like larger items, you do hear them clanking and clanking and clanking and clanking around in there before it's actually picked up, if not just kind of spit back out as you push the machine forward. So not entirely sure what they were thinking when they did this. And like I said, this is the second generation and it still continues to have this effect. Um, you know, it's also weird that the brushes or the belt is on the right hand side of the machine, which on most vacuums it's on the left, but um, whatever. I guess that that would make more sense if they put the belt on that side and they left the same brush roll design and had the inlet on this side and then it'd be might be a little bit more effective. Not that it doesn't do a good job already. But as far as my lightweight machines go, this is just all around amazing. Um, it still manages to deep clean the hell out of the carpeting and uh, you can just tell it's getting everything. I mean, it just, and it's not that loud and this bag is somewhat, it's hard, it, like it's got, it's rigid, but it also lets the air through so um, it's kind of nice that it doesn't puff out, which I know some people like the whole puffing out of a bag when it turns on, but for getting under furniture, the fact that it maintains a slim profile is kind of nice. Um, the bag changing system is very easy to do on it. Sorry that I'm taking seven minutes of just talking. I know that will annoy some of you, but um, I don't really want to do it because it's got dirt in it. But you just pull it up, pull it out of this little tray. And then if you had a new one, you just slide it back in and push it until it clips. And then you can pull the two zippers up like that. And the brush strips on this, on that metal um, roller are replaceable, which is another plus instead of replacing the whole unit. Um, but I'd imagine just me, when if they did ever wear down the time that I own this, then I'd probably just replace the whole brush, because at that point, you got to wonder if the bearings just don't need to be replaced as well. So, that's just my thing. I'm not, I'm not really a thrifty person. Um, so, but for some people, that's a good option. Um, bag prices, I don't even know what they cost. I really don't care if I need bags. I get bags. I just, I, get, I just don't fixate on stuff like that. I'd rather throw a bag away than a empty a bin. But this is an all around just amazing machine. Um, it's certainly better than the classic Oryx. Um, and I'd say it's a little bit better than the Platinum series. It's not as quiet as they are. Um, and the hood seems a little bit cheaper made than those Oryx. But um, it certainly cleans really well. So. Um, I'll start it on low speed for a second, and then I'll click it on to high, and uh, go from there. So yeah, it cleans really nicely, it really does a good job grooming. Um, it's basically assaulting the carpet, I mean you can hear it, it's just like that, just that tone from it just tearing it up, I mean not literally tearing it up, but um, yeah, it just does a great job. And it pulls itself, like if I didn't hold on to it, it was shot across the floor. 
especially with my carpet being the 